The second scenario that you can have when you only need to orient the centers at the very end of the puzzle is you could have two centers, like these two, that are misoriented by only 90 degrees. You'll notice that this white needs to drop down here, and this red needs to kind of swivel around over here. What you're going to do is you're going to put one of them on the top and one of them on the left. Now, if you solve these puzzles often, or any kind of twisty puzzles often, you may start to recognize these algorithms. This is the exact same algorithm that you use when solving a Rubin King cube, or an Ultimate cube, or a Master Pyromorphics. They're all pretty much the same algorithm. So I'm going to post the algorithm in the description bar, but I'm just going to do it really slow in case you're one of those visual people. Fantastic, got a lockup. You gotta love those, don't you? Mm -hmm. Cheap puzzles and you get lockups. There we go. Now I just gotta give it a little rotate, and bam, we are finished. So that is how you solve the crystal cube. Don't freak out when solving this puzzle. I know it looks intimidating, I know it looks crazy, but all you have to remember is that it's nothing more than a 3x3. Three three. Nothing more. So focus on solving it like a 3x3. Three three. Ignore the colors that you don't need to pay attention to, like the side when you're doing an edge piece. And just focus on you know, solving it correctly. It's not that bad. Other than orienting the centerpiece, which you don't have to do on a normal 3x3, three three, this puzzle is actually very, very simple. Um, all the algorithms for the last layer will be put in the description although I didn't go over them in the tutorial for the crystal cube I have gone over all of these in many of my other tutorial videos including the how to solve a Rubik's cube in under one minute and again the reason I keep coming back to that video is because you'll not be able to solve the last layer unless you know that method or a method that is equal to it an equivalent um, and I'm guessing if you only know the 3x3 three three layer method that you don't know an equivalent. Um, so check that video out if you're having problems with the last layer. I will also put the orientations for the last two centers or last center depending on what case you have. Um, I'll also put those in the description and if you guys have any questions feel free to ask a question by posting a comment below and I'll be able to answer it hopefully as soon as I can and thank you for watching I hope you guys like this video and um, if you want to see more of my videos um, please check out my channel and if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel that way you can get updates on your YouTube page and or your email address on when I post new videos um, so that's it for the crystal cube extended 3x3 puzzle. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.